Hello, today I will uh, show you how can I uh, make uh, fajitas at home. So if you have uh, chicken or lamb, um, you can use it for uh, fajitas very well. So here I have uh, one whole chicken breast that I uh, chopped it, I cut it actually in uh, small pieces and I uh, spiced uh, with the spices that we like in a family, like um, any kind you wish. And here I have a large pot that I'm using olive oil. And that is like a quarter of cup of oil. It's up to you if you wish to use another kind of oil or the, uh, the quantity. But for me, this is exactly what I'm looking for. The seasoning, the hot, the pan is uh, hot because I want always the meat to be in contact with the hot fries so it's going to just get a very nice color it's not going to burn but you need to hear this sizzling I don't want to be boiled because the meat has kind of water content in it so it's going to boil if the pan is not hot enough so here I'm going to just uh, kind of fry it but again you have to stay on top you don't need to be burned the meat and just cover in oil all the time and get in contact with the hot pan now for this um, fajitas is a very well known recipe but you can adapt it as well with uh, depending on the ingredients that you have available uh, in your cupboard so it's very versatile you can just uh, add just few veggies and you'll have an excellent meal out of it so it's again a very good way to enjoy with an excellent meal you don't need to go out for uh, for having a good time with your family or yourself so you can just make this uh, type of food at home again with all the ingredients that are available in your cupboard you can uh, increase the number of the veggies that you are using the way you like it but the uh, part of this uh, fajitas is actually the meat that you are uh, using so basic is with uh, chicken but again as I said you can use lamb or pork but of course has to be in very uh, sliced in a very tiny pieces because you need to get the heat penetrated through you don't need to cook this type of food you just fry it at the moment and it's a very fast way to get a nice meal out uh, of this kind of ingredient so as you can see here, the meat is covered always in a heat and the oil. You don't need to go away, as I said, from uh, when you start this procedure because it fries very fast. The reason that you will slice the meat very, in, uh, like in a small pieces, is exactly the idea to get the heat penetrated immediately. Again, this is not a type of uh, food that you will leave it and cook it for a while. Just do it immediately. It's very fast. In 20 minutes, you have uh, an excellent meal for entire family. So that's why the fat must be always on a, like a heat. It must be very, very constant uh, on kind of high because as you notice, the water from the meat started to get in the pan and it's going to boil if it's not enough the, the pan hot so let's just continue here a little bit more when you will get to a nice color and that is going to be like in two minutes kind of now you just uh, remove the meat and in uh, the same pan because all the juices uh, from the meat are in, uh, in this oil now um, it's going to retain all the flavor so you can uh, 
just uh, put the veggies in the same pan with the same uh, oil. Now for the spices, again it's up to you what kind of spices would you like, but for us we uh, use a little bit hot pepper, black pepper, garlic powder, a little bit of rosemary, a little bit of um, oregano, you can use uh, any other spices that you have available or you like. Again, as I said, this is a very versatile uh, food in a flavor and the results cannot be wrong with any kind of, uh, of like spices that you like. As you can see, it started to get a nice color. Again, as I said, it's a very fast uh, food. You cannot leave the pan. You have to stay on top of it and make sure that uh, it's not burning. It's something uh, that you can uh, just uh, pay attention to. As I said, it's about 20 minutes entire food is done. Along with this kind of uh, fajitas, you can use uh, tortilla or you can use naan or you can boil a cup of rice if you wish to get the recipe i have it on my channel for the boiling rice how you can make it very easy and uh, very satisfying to recipe and of course you can uh, get uh, a garlic sauce along with it again if you need to get the recipe on my channel for the garlic sauce or if you have mayonnaise in the house those excellent with fajitas, spicy mayonnaise, like using a little bit garlic or any other spices in it is going to improve in a very well way the flavor. And for the mayonnaise recipe again, it's on my channel. If you wish to to make it at home, it's very easy. You will see not like basic ingredients you can have again an excellent meal out of it so the whole idea for the this fajitas is the meat to get the color that uh, gives it the flavor to it so that's why we are spending a little bit more time during this part of the meal because we need the color to be on the the meat a nice color not burning color it's a nice color so I'm getting back to you when uh, it's done like in uh, two minutes and we will continue from there so after two minutes you will see that the meat got this kind of color which is the flavor in it actually and at this point you have to remove it to another uh, plate and just uh, you have to use the same uh, the same uh, fat, the same uh, oil in the pan because as you see has all the bits from the meat and the flavor from the spices and the meat of course so this is not turning it's just the flavor that uh, it's from the meat and from the spices and in this one I'm going to add I have here a, a chopped onion bell pepper and three cloves of garlic so I'm using again the same oil and that is going because the moisture from the veggies are going to penetrate the oil and the, all the bits at the bottom of the pan are going to bring all the flavor in the veggies and I have here a, a kernel and I have broccoli. Again, as I said, it's very versatile this type of recipe. Any kind of veggies that you have available, you can use them and combine them and they will give you an excellent meal out of them. Now, in this moment, you can just slightly spice the veggies the way you like it. And just... Uh, wait for them like another two or three minutes to finish uh, like to get them moist you don't need them to cook them through because you just need them to get them moist and i will get back to you after that so here we have uh, the veggies after i uh, 
keep them in a oil for probably another three minutes so as you can see they pick all the flavor from the pan which is actually the key for this kind of food because um, all the flavors from the meat with the spices are going to be in this uh, bunch of veggies so i'm going to turn the heat off and i'm going to remove everything in a on the plate here so again any kind of veggies that you have available you can use them here it's up to you and of course uh, you can enhance the flavor of them with any spices that you wish because actually this is the whole idea to make like a custom made sort of um, meal out of anything you have available in your cupboard so you have a here everything now to serve you have few options here I have uh, a naan I have a tortilla and I boiled rice um, also I have here uh, garlic paste I have here tomatoes fresh tomatoes with garlic and I have here mayonnaise you can make all of those using the recipes that I have them on my channel but as an idea how you can use of course you know most likely how you can use it but we will enjoy just having some rice on the plate and along with this rice we will have some uh, veggies of course and of course you can use the quantities that you like and if you wish to have a spicy don't make it spicy in a pan they're just in a in your plate and some of those uh, bits of uh, meat uh, of course you can use some mayonnaise uh, aside or garlic as i said or your tomato with garlic which is excellent or a piece of naan or a tortilla you can use in the same way put a, a little bit of mayonnaise here if you like a little bit garlic and just use veggies and a bit of meat and you can wrap it and the kids will be absolutely pleased so those are the ways that you can make your own food at home with available ingredients from your cardboard and definitely are going to bring to you and to entire family absolutely a great flavor and the smell sorry but it's unbelievable everything so i hope that was an inspiration again for you to start a good meal and uh, I'm hoping that you're uh, in a good health, good mind, and thank you for watching this video. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.